Hello friends, welcome again. In this video, I will talk about WPDB class, okay, and why we need to use it, and what is WPDB class, and where in which cases we can use this uh, WPDB class, okay. So w, uh, WPDB class is the uh, abstraction class for the database access. So WordPress has this WPDB class which we can use. Um, to execute SQL queries instead of using the row SQL statement uh, statements or using the PHP MySQL function. So instead of that, we can use the WPDB uh, class, which is abstraction class. Okay, and uh, and uh, WPDB uh, uh, a variable is the global variable which contains the object of this WPDB class. Okay, and uh, we can also uh, replace and override the WPDB class by adding a db.php file into the WP content directory, which is uh, known as the drop-ins. Okay, but uh, about that, I will talk uh, later in this video. Okay, so first let's uh, get, get overview about WPDB class and what other functions are available and how we can use it to perform the database queries. Okay, and also WPDB class can like uh, can use for number of tables okay and but only one database tables at a time but in some rare cases if you want to connect with another database then you can create your own um, object of the wpdb class and then you can use for the database connections and for uh, executing the database queries okay so let's uh, go through uh, the uh, the available methods which we can use from these documentations okay so here in the developer.wordpress.org slash references slash classes and the wpdb uh, class reference you can go through it which has very uh, useful information uh, and also covering and having all the examples of different methods and uh, base practices and everything for example important note about escaping right so we all know about sql injection attack right so when we perform uh, when we execute sql queries we have to make sure that that sql query is the safe for the execution purpose okay so wordpress already uh, this wpdb class already taking care of that okay and some of the functions already uses the uh, applies the escaping but some of the methods won't apply uh, so in that case wordpress already provide the functions like escape sql then like escape function um those those functions uh, we can use for escaping purpose okay so let's let's go through some of the um methods um available which we can use to perform the crud operations create uh, create read up, uh, update and delete okay so um using the global object you can simply like first function is get result so you can simply uh, use this uh, function or uh, method uh, with the select query and which will return um the list of the uh, number of found rows into the uh, object okay or you can also like pass instead of the object you can, if you want to get the output into the uh, array format with indexing or with the associative errors that you can pass it as well okay and there are some of the functions like the prepare query a prepare method not if sorry prepare not query but it's a method prepare method which we uh, which uh, used to escape the data before the sql query executing okay to prevent sql injection attacks so if you are uh, constructing the custom query either it's a select query or any any type of query and if it's a custom uh, you are creating or constructing the query with the dynamic of like with the value, dynamic values then in that case uh, always better to use wp prepare uh, function or method which will make sure that okay whatever data you have passed and the query will be uh, escaped and don't have any malicious things so that we can uh, avoid the um, sql injection attacks okay so we will see how how we can use this um, uh, in action like in the demo Okay, and there are placeholders. So like placeholders, which is used to identify the data format. Okay, so hey, passing the this uh, placeholders uh, would be very helpful for the prepare method to understand what type of data uh, uh, user is passing. And, and based on that, they can perform escaping and checking and validation types and everything. Okay, so it's like a percentage S for the string, percentage D for integer and percentage F for the float. 
okay and that that those uh where placeholders we can pass for example here you can see an example so wp uh, uh query method uh is used to uh, execute a query okay and this the uh, prepare statement uh, prepare method has been used where we have passed this uh, insert query here okay insert query and instead of passing the values directly the values we are passing the placeholder and then uh, in the in the different or other arguments we can pass uh, their values uh, in the same order in which the this placeholder has been added okay so like a tan then meta key and the meta value okay so it's a post id meta key and meta value so this way uh, we don't have to worry about uh, SQL injection attacks or something right we are passing the data we are also mentioning what type of data we are passing with the formats placeholders and then prepare statement will perform the checks and everything and prevent SQL injection attacks okay and then finally uh, prepare method will return the final uh, SQL query which is constructed and then WP uh, this query method will execute our query and return the output okay so let's see if these all of the methods like the get where um then there are multiple methods are there select a row get a row and all there are multiple methods are there which we can use so let's see um like in the action in the demo and also let's also uh, learn how we can create a custom database table um in the wordpress okay so i have already prepared the demo uh, so that i can go through it quickly okay so i have created this function called mlb create db tables okay and uh, before that this uh, this demo is not related to the movie library which is like it's a custom demo i have uh, prepared for so to for this wpdb class and how we can create a custom custom database table it's not related to the movie library but whatever database operations we perform it always should be in the plugin not into the theme okay so if you are developing a theme but there are some functionality which is related or interacting with the database then it those functionalities would be in the plugin okay because theme can be changed later on so that's the one um, um important note okay so um okay so here we have already uh, declared a global wpdb so when the wordpress loads um this wpdb class uh, will be in instead uh, initiated and an object will be created and it stores into the wpdb global uh, variable okay so here i am just checking um getting the character set collision okay about the database so that we don't have to keep it uh we don't have to keep it static into the uh, into into our plugin we can use the wpdb class because this character set collisions and everything will be set from the wp config table through the constants okay so we are uh, using this um, method of the wpdb class we will get that and it will return simply something like this default character set if and the character set if it's set and if it's not empty the collision then it will add a collisions too okay and then return the statement and then we have i have used it here into the um like uh, in the create table query okay and we are going to use the db delta function and this db delta function uh, uh, defined into the upgrade.php file under the wp admin includes folder okay so we are going to use it so if the function is not exist then we will uh, add, require this file so that this this function we can use and then we are just passing the this create table query to uh, to db delta uh, function and then it will execute and it will create a, a, a table and i have also added if not exist check so that you know sometimes um uh, plug uh, same plugin can be uh, installed deleted multiple times or maybe deactivated or then again activated so in that case if our function is calling on activation hook okay so in that case uh, it will throw the like fatal error the mysql uh, query error because the table is already exists okay so uh, so to avoid that problem we will uh, add create a table if not exist only okay and then uh, db delta function i have uh, we have called and this db delta function so let's have some quick look at the documentation modifies the database based on the specified uh, sql statements and useful for creating a new tables and updating existing tables to a new structure okay so sometime let's say uh, we are creating a plugin um, and like we are developing a plugin and we have some uh, in, uh, features which we want to implement and it's also needed a custom database table so let's say in the first version 1.0 version we have created a custom database table with some uh, columns and everything and then upcoming into later 
new versions, we are modifying the custom database table, either including the new field, a new column, or changing the column type, or anything, any database modification or table modifications related stuff. All uh, for all those things, we uh, uh, we can use the DB Delta function. Okay, so we can simply pass alter query, update the table query, or anything queries to DB Delta function, and, and uh, it will be executed. Okay, so you can later on you can go through this function definition if you want to okay um okay so now at this point uh the our data creating of the tables is completed and then i have called this function on activation hook okay so here on a registration activation hook on the main plugin file i have added call this function okay so that this database table will be created uh, when the plugin is activated and why it's on activation because like uh, database table creation is on required only once we don't have to execute this query multiple times on every page load okay so it should be uh, done or it, uh, the table should be created on the activation hook uh, only okay but as an important note do not delete the database table on deactivation of the hook because sometimes a user may be accidentally deactivated the plugin or for some reasons the user has de uh, deactivated a plugin then later on the user going to activate that plugin okay or maybe it's a for testing purpose so in that case if we are deleting the uh, our custom database table on deactivation then it will create a problem so user can lose their data all right so uh, you can delete the table on the or install of the plugin okay which will also like uh, into the plugin settings we can add okay do you want we can add a settings like a checkbox whether you want to delete all the data uh, created or added by this plugin on the when the plugin is uninstalled or the deleted and if that setting has been checked by the user then we can delete all the data right um, including the custom database table or the custom post types or anything and if the user haven't uh, selected that option then we will uh, uh, on the plugin on uh, on install or plugin delete uh, we will we will don't we will we won't delete the data right so this way user will have the option whether they want to keep the data or they want to delete the data when the user delete their plugin okay but we don't delete the plugin on deactivation okay so yeah that's that's some of the best practice i uh, i would like to tell okay so now let me just go through uh, go to our website okay and then go to the plugins currently our plugin is already activated so i'm going to deactivate and then activate again okay so now if i go to the database and the refresh um, it create this wp products table okay so if you go into the structure id name description enterprise um, with the uh, where care long text and the float type okay and you can also in the table info you can grab this uh, you can use this create table so basically as a developer it's very difficult to you know write this uh, create table query so what you can do um like create a table uh, with the, all the required fields and everything and then grab this create table information and then copy paste uh, into the code editor and then use it but here the character says and everything we don't need it because we can fetch it from the wp config constant table so we can use that functions of wp db class okay and and those can be used but from here we can have this create table query and then modify a little bit and then use it and keep it into the code okay so same things i have did while pre uh, preparing this demo thanks for watching see you on the next one jay wordpress